morning and welcome to our daily devotional. My name is Megan Emanuel and I am the Children's Ministry Director here at Lord of Life. Thank you for joining us today to pause, reflect, and connect. And kiddos, if you notice, I'm in a different place. I'm here at Lord of Life at the church. And I just thought it would be a fun time to come here during the Advent season so you could see the tree and the Advent wreath while we're talking about the meaning of Christmas. So I'm excited to be here. I miss here and I miss your faces. Um, and today for our children's message, I have a stocking with me. And inside this stocking, I have a few items that kind of make me think of the Christmas season, the Christmas story. And I thought it'd be fun to talk about. Wait a second, guys. Do you hear something? I hear something. Friends, I think we have a visitor here for our daily devotion. Well, hello, Santa. It's so good to see you. What a surprise. You're dropping by Lord of Life. I'm so happy to be here. Well, I was just getting ready to talk about some things about Christmas. Do you think you could help me? Could I help you with that? I would love it. It looks like you even have a bag and are ready to go. I have some things also. Oh, my goodness. Let's sit down and talk. So, so what do you have in your bag? Okay, I'll show you what I have, what I'm going to start with. Um, I don't know, kiddos, if you can see, I'm going to put out stuck in my stocking. But I have a tree. Ah, a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree, friends, if you can see that. And I was going to share with them, but maybe you could help, Santa. I think you know <clears throat> well, well, probably you more know, than I do. You know, we, we have evergreen trees for Christmas because they stay green all year round. And that reminds us that God's love for us never ends. Plus, if you look at them, the needles all point to heaven, which reminds us that when we pray to God, it goes, our prayers go right to God. Friends, I am so <clears throat> glad we have the expert here to share these things. Santa, what a good, good thing to remember about a Christmas tree, that God's love is always with us all year long, just like the tree is always green. The other item I have in my stocking is a candle. Friends, I'm sure you know of this. You've seen these in your house. And, can you help us, Santa? Why would I have a candle in my bag? Well, the candle reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. And by Jesus being our light, there is no darkness. And that, friends, if you think about, we also light our Advent wreath, which we have here. Um, the candles there remind us of the same thing, that there is, uh, Jesus is our light. Very cool. That's what I had in my stocking, oh. Santa, but your bag looks really full. Do you have I, other things I you could share? I have a couple more things to share. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure we all see a lot of wreaths. Oh, have you decorated your houses, friends, maybe? Or in your neighborhood, you might have seen wreaths hanging on doors or on windows? And, and there's all different kinds of wreaths. This one's made out of evergreen, so it's a lot like the tree we talked about. But the great thing with the wreath is it goes around and around. It never stops. You can just keep going around. And that's like God's love for us. It never ends. It, it, it is always around us. Uh, very good, friends. We're always able to remember a circle reminds us of God's love always going around, never ending. Oh, Santa, what's Let's next? Let's see what else I have. <clears throat> it's a star. A star. And, and the star reminds us that on the night Jesus was born, the star was above the manger, above the stable where he was born, and that let everyone around know that the Savior had been born and they could come from a long ways just by following the star. Such an important thing, friends. When you go out and look in the sky at night, let the stars remind you of who we found when we followed that star, who the shepherds and the wise men. So awesome, Santa. And here... Miss Megan, I saw you talk about the candy cane a just little while back. I say that. I just talked last week or the other week on this. And, and the candy cane, not only are they really yummy, but they remind us of the, the shepherd's crook or the shepherd's staff. So when a shepherd's out working in the fields, if one of the sheep gets away, they can use the crook to pull them back into the, into the flock. We can, can think about this and <clears throat> remember that Jesus will always pull us back into the flock. If we make a bad decision, we do something wrong, we know that Jesus is always there to welcome us back. I love it. Candy canes, they always remind us, friends, that Jesus is got up. He pulls on us just to keep us safe. Oh, Santa, you have like a never-ending bag. I, I love this. More. Oh. We, 
We have an angel. Angel friends, so pretty. <clears throat> and, and this can remind us that the angels told us that Jesus was born. And, and we have a song, Angels We Have Heard on High, and they tell us Jesus is born and has come in all his glory. I love it. Yeah, and the angels, my one part of the story is, do not be afraid, is one of my favorite parts that the angels share. Bring good news. Still got more. Oh, goodness. Oh, Santa. We have a present. And what I want everybody to remember is it's not about getting or giving presents. The season is about the birth of Christ. But God gave us the present of his only son. And, and that's an important part. And, and there's no present we can give that's any better than that. Absolutely. The best gift, I say, for Christmas is the birth of Jesus. More still? Yeah, I've, got, I've got, I think, one more in here. Oh, my goodness, friend. Santa is oh, full of information have two and more. fun things today. I think I have two more. Oh. <clears throat> the bell. And <clears throat> back to the shepherds. They would put bells on their sheep so that they would know if they went away, if they were, were missing or somewhere they weren't supposed to be. And then they could gather them back in. And just like the sheep, we all have a bell, and God watches over us so that we don't go astray. I like the bell. So we can remember that when a bell rings that we're remembering that God is with us. And I think the last thing I have in the bag is this guy. Hey, he looks familiar. <clears throat> so, so that's me. That's Santa. And, and what we need to remember is <clears throat> the holiday isn't about me. I'm just a humble servant. The holiday is truly about the birth of Christ. And we want to make sure that we put that ahead of everything else. That's all I have in my bag, but <clears throat> I'd like to say, so let's remember, it's all about, all about the birth of Jesus. But... Keep being good, and I'll be by your house on Christmas Eve. Oh, Santa, it's always so fun to see you. And kiddos, I know you're excited. I hope that you got to see. We had a visitor today, but I love the message you shared with us today, Santa, that all these special things can remind you, friends, and me about the story of Jesus' birth and that he is the best gift that we can receive on Christmas. So thank you for coming to join us today, Santa, and for all of these awesome items you brought to share about the real true meaning of Christmas. Thank you for having me and letting me join and take part of your devotion. Thank you. It's not every day I have a guest. I love it. Good, and if good. you will, can we pray together, Santa? Please. All right. And friends, you can join me as well. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, the best gift. Help us to prepare our hearts and be ready to share your love with others. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Thank you again, Santa. And yes, Merry Christmas, friends and family. And we thank you for joining us every day at 1130 a.m. for our daily devotionals. And we encourage you to join us later this afternoon at 4.15 p.m. for our contemporary service in person or on Facebook, or tomorrow morning at 1045 for our traditional service um, in person or on Facebook, and every day at 1130 a.m. And we just continue to thank you for all that you are doing to bless so many in our congregation, our community, and beyond. You are just a blessing to so many this season. And if you need anything, please reach out to us in the church office. And as my Kids Life kiddos and I say every Sunday, peace be with you.